hello friends so once again welcome to my channel and in this video today we will see some examples of converting the given floating point numbers into IEEE representation both single precision and double precision we will see some examples we will do so whatever rules we have uh, we have seen in our last video that will become much more clear so suppose the question is we have been given one number minus 13.25 into IEEE single precision format so what is the step one we need to convert this number into binary right so we know what is the binary of 13 8 plus 4 plus 1 we can do it in fingertips or you can do it by doing the calculation or using calculator and do remember whenever a number is negative do not use any tools complement here while talking about IEEE single precision or double precision so 13.25 it is 8 plus 4 plus 1 then for 0.25, it is 0 0.01. How I was getting this, this one, I have explained in my last video. 0 0.25 into 2 we did. Then what we get? 0 0.50. Before decimal, 1 0 is there. Then 0 0.50 into 2 I did. Then what I got? 1.00. So now I will stop multiplying by 2 and the value will be what? 0 0.01. So 0 0.01. Right? Top to bottom we used to write whatever is there before the decimal point right so this is the binary of 13.25 then what i will do next i will normalize the number so see to normalize the number my decimal point will be taken to the left or right my decimal point be, will be obviously taken to the left how many positions three positions so it will be what two to the power three because i have taken my decimal point to the left if i take to the left then it will be two to the power that whatever positions plus the i that is 2 to the power 3 here right so this is now my normalized number so what is my exponent 3 so how i am going to represent as a 3 or as a uh, bias exponent it is bias exponent so before that what is the sign of the number sign of the number as a whole it is a negative number so s will be 1 here the number is positive if the number is positive as 0 else 1 so in our case it is negative so s is 1 the next is exponent so i will add 127 to the exponent then i will get the value in bias exponent format so 127 plus 3 is what 130 we need to write the binary of 130 it is also very simple it is 128 plus 2 128 means what one seven zeros will be there so 3 and then four zeros will be there it is 128 plus 2 means at this position 1 will be there this is how also you can do or you can use your calculator whatever is convenient to you right so this is e dash next part is m m stands for mantissa so what will be your mantissa this one or only this one only this one that is to the right of your decimal point that is 10101 right how many bits 5 bits but what is the length of my mantissa 23 bits right so with 5 this 5 digits 10101 i need to add another 18 zeros then only it will become what of 23 bits right so that only i'll do mantissa is what to the right of the decimal point in the normalized number do not forget in the normalized number if it is not of 23 bits then append zeros to the right of the actual mantissa to make it of length 23 bits so in our case it is what 10101 10101 then i will add this many zeros so it will become what 23 bits so see four four groups i have done so it becomes easier for us to visualize also so m is done now my number is ready my s is there e dash is there m is there so what is my answer solution is s equal to 1 e dash will be this one and m will be this one so this is the answer for minus 13.25 in single precision format. If the same number is given and you need to convert it into double precision, where at all you need to change? Here you need to change and these zeros you need to change. That's all. This part is same only. So I'll show you here. See, the same number I've taken and I'll convert into double precision. So see, this part converting into binary, we know. Normalizing the number, we know. We did it. Then number is negative. That also we know. Now see. What I will add? 1023. That only you need to remember. Right? So 
one zero two three plus three one zero two six right so this one is what one zero two four plus two one zero two four means one then this many zeros so two will be there so it is one twenty six one zero two six then mantissa will be of fifty two bits we have only five bits so sorry it will be of fifty two bits huh? so fifty two bits you convert it so only one zero one zero one written then zero dot 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 whatever number of zeros are required there only you write it then it will be your mantissa right so here again i have written s is one this is one zero two six and then this is mantissa whatever number of zeros are required you write that number that is sufficient right so this is how we have converted one number into ieee double precision format this example is clear next quickly we will see one more example say i have been given only a single integer where is my decimal point 17.0 actually right so this i need to convert it into ieee single precision format so first i'll convert it into binary what is 17 16 plus 1. Right now you forget your the two's complement format. Otherwise our answer will be wrong, right? So two's complement will not be seen, though it is a negative number, because mostly we are familiar with two's complement when we see a negative number. Because of that, I am mentioning this. So 17 is what? 16. 16 after this four zeros, right? So but here one one will come. So this one is 17, right? Then I need to normalize the number. Right now where is the point? The point is here only at the end. Where I need to take it? One place, two place, three place, four places to the left. So what it will be? One point zero 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 one into two to the power what? Two to the power plus four because I have taken the decimal point to the left, right? So we will normalize, right? We have normalized. See this one. This part is clear. Normalization done. Then the sign of the number is one. Because it is a negative number, if it is positive, s will be zero. Step four, e dash, four plus one twenty-seven. So four plus one twenty-seven is one thirty-one. What is one thirty-one actually? One twenty-eight plus two plus one. So one twenty-eight plus two plus one. That is one thirty-one. Easily we can find it. Then next is mantissa. Mantissa. Again, I will append some zeros to make it of twenty-three bits. Actually, how many bits we have? Zero 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 one only four. Then see zero 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 one. We have this four, and all other these we have made it to zero zero. This is my mantissa. So as a whole, the solution is like this. Do not try to write all zero zero one like this. You show it part wise, or you convert this solution into hexadecimal format. That is also okay. But if you write one zero one zero in a single line, it is difficult to press the result. Hope this example is also clear. Now I'll do one example. Where, see, if I will ask you to convert it into double precision, what you will do? One zero two three you will add, and here some more zeros to make it of length fifty two bits. That's all. Next one more we'll see. See, actually I'm trying to do three examples where after decimal something is there. One is without decimal point. Then the third one is without integer part in my number. Say the number is minus three point three five. So what I have to do? Point three five into two I have to do right. What I will get? This is zero six seven point seven zero, right? Then point seven zero into two I will do. I am talking about what? Converting the number into binary. So what it will become? Uh, this is zero. Then it will become one point four, right? So this one. Then point four zero into two I will do. What it will become? It will become zero point eight zero. Then point eight zero into two. What it will become? One point six zero. This how it will continue. But see, I have done up to four places, but I am not getting that zero after my decimal. So you uh, you can do up to four places or maybe one more place. But I can see here that the number is not converging into zero, right? Converting towards zero. Uh, this part right so i will take the binary of this number as 0.0101 what i have taken this particular bits from top to bottom so 0101 this is the binary of 0.35 many more digits will come but we have considered after decimal only four places right this is also fine right so first we'll convert the number into binary we got it and after this also we'll get one 
one zero zero one zero one then one five places we have taken right then what i will do we have to normalize the number so see now the decimal point is here zero one zero one one where is the decimal point here where i need to take it to the left uh, to the right of first one from the msb side so this one is here only right so i need to take it to one place and two places here i am taking the decimal point to the right so what i will multiply 2 to the power minus i that is 2 here two positions i have shifted so 2 to the power minus 2 right we did it so first part is done then second part is normalized so we have done the normalization becomes this one it will be 2 to the power minus 2 this part is also clear see rest part is same only this part only you need to understand these two steps because these are something new to you right the next is we have done it then what is the sign of the number negative so s will be 1 done after that what will be your edes actual exponent plus 127 that is 127 plus minus 2 right so 127 plus what minus 2 what it will be plus 125 always my exponent is a positive quantity right 125 so what is 125 If I will have seven ones, one two three four five six seven, it is one twenty seven. In from one twenty seven, one twenty five is only less by two. So at two's place, I'll put zero. This one is your one twenty seven, and at the one twenty eight place, it will be zero. So this is one twenty seven. This is how also you can write the binary of one twenty five quickly, or you can use your calculator. See one twenty seven means what? Seven number of zeros, right? But it is less two, so here it will be zero, and her total eight bits, na? So this one is zero. So one twenty five. This is how binary is written. Done. The next is mantissa. What is your mantissa? Point zero one one. So zero one one is your mantissa. Only three bits. I need to make it twenty three bits. So another twenty zeros I will append, right? So that only I will do. See. Already the rules I have written, and see after that, see these many zeros are there. Means twenty zeros I have appended, right? So as a whole, the solution is this one. Hope this example is also clear. So see after doing these three examples, any number is given to you because see how the numbers will be formed. Something point something that is twelve point seven five. This is also a number. Point seven five is point seven seven is a number. Then Another one is say only fourteen, only eighteen, like this they can keep. So any such numbers are there. We need to follow these three steps. That uh, the three examples we have done, we can apply these three examples to these three situation, and we will come up with a correct results. So this much is there in this video. Hope your conversion of decimal to I T P L E format, single precision, double precision, both are clear. Then next. In the next video, we will see some and uh, that one I triple E number is given to me. Then what is the equivalent decimal of that? That we will see in our next video. Till then, thank you. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.